morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just sharpening my claws. <laughs> They've got a bit raggy. My nails have. I need to take the nail varnish off. It's only probably when you put nail varnish on, you have to take it off. Because it goes all bitty and all that. Does I need some things on this because they're broken. It's broken. I need some key rings on it or something. Need some work doing on it, Mr. Producer. On both of them. There's one there, look. Look, they fit in nicely down beside the bed. Good morning, my lovelies. Stops coming down. <sighs> How are you? I hope you're all very well. I'm doing good. Doing good. Well, I was doing good. It was doing good. Until I looked at my subscriber count. <laughs> I looked at it this morning at about 6 o'clock. And it was 147,202, I think. There was a two on the end. I'm sure there was. It's now gone down to 199. <laughs> 140,199. And I'm like, where, where have they gone? But then I remembered that YouTube are unsubscribing my subscribers. So in the space of a couple of hours, they've taken three or four off me. And they've not deleted those accounts. they just unsubscribed people, which is really nice of them not. So please make sure if you subscribe to me, come back and resubscribe because it just goes to show that they are unsubscribing them. It really does. They're also removing likes. They're removing comments. Even when Mr. Producer comments, we can't see the comments anymore. They're taking them off the videos because they've limited my views by 95%. Yes. So if I have more comments than I do views, that looks a bit silly, doesn't it? Does that not look silly? Yes. Are we agreed on that one? That looks silly. So they're now removing the comments to match the views <laughs> that they're limiting. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, it's just ridiculous. My my videos are still not down below. My my what's up next video, you don't get to see me anymore. You get to see some random one that they're trying to manipulate and push for you to watch it's just i don't understand why there's people like me on youtube right i was saying this to mr producer this morning there's people like me on youtube my size that still do clothes try-ons like i used to and was allowed to have live links down below and everything and yet they want to limit me i don't understand why i don't get it am i that fabulous that they think i would make a run for the american market because they want the big ones that they pay in to do the American market and not little ones like me that won't pay in because I do it off my own back. Yes. I, I just don't understand it. I don't grasp the concept of why we're being phased out when there's other people that do the exact same things. Like I came across one this morning that was that made herself look very, very young, very, very, very young and just had on a pair of panties and a vest top. And was stood up, full view of everything, very thin pair of panties, and was trying on skirts, bending over and everything. And it's like, well, how come she can get away with that? But I'm not allowed to try clothes on anymore. It's not fair, is it? And then you have another one that talks about what she does on OnlyFans. And I mean, graphically talks about what she does on OnlyFans. Has live links underneath to her OnlyFans, and that's allowed. But I'm not allowed. They get age restricted or knocked off. And if I have live links down below to an over 18 site, then my channel gets deleted, like the yoga channel did. So I, I don't quite understand the hypocrisy here. I, I think it's very hypocritical. It's like I'm just being deleted slowly and painfully. Yes, it's not fair. Because all I do is bring the love and the laughter and the parcels. I want a parcel. I need a parcel. But yes. So I'm just keeping you informed, guys, of what's happening. Because if you don't see me one day, you'll know it's YouTube's fault. Because I'm doing everything I can to be YouTube friendly. Maybe that's the problem. But then if we're not YouTube friendly, that person doesn't like it and deletes. So it's like, what do you do? It's catch-22, isn't it? Yes. But before Mr. Producer goes against the parcel, we're doing the, we're doing the spiel. Coco Scope, added our sexy UK. Twitter and Instagram, added our sexy UK. Facebook at Official Adult Sexy UK. Then we have my three only fans. We have the freebie, 
the ten dollar and the VIP naughty one. Yes. So come and check them all out, guys. And now Mr. Beauty's gonna go and cheer me up by bringing me a lovely parcel. I'm gonna move the cushion out of the way. And oh, I got a teddy. I got a pink teddy. Let's cover his butt up. Cause I don't have naked butts on the set. Me, dance me, dance me. Oh, 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 oh. Is it heavy? No. no. I don't know who's bought this. Me or Bill? Oh, getting a bit. Meg, that is heavy. That is heavy. Oh, maybe Bill's bought this. Could I have my cutter, please? Is it up there? Yeah, couldn't see it. Thank you. This might be. I'm hoping. You can't see. You can't see it's in it. Yay! Bill bought me a present. <laughs> no, he doesn't know about it, but Bill bought me a present. <laughs> he bought me a blender. Thank you, Bill. Now, I went to Grandma Monkey's house uh, the weekend. Yes. And she, oh, there's two things in here actually. I'll show you that one in a minute. Yes, and she has a blender. She has a blender. But she has a bullet blender. Now, I Amazoned the bullet blender and it was £147 for this blender. I'm not spending £147 on a blender. So I went for a £20 one instead. <laughs> and it's Breville. So turn on your creativity. Turn on your creativity. Because what I've done is I've bought loads of fruit, frozen fruit, and it's in the big freezer. Yeah? And I'm going to make myself smoothies in the morning. Instead of having cereal or toast and things like that, I'm going to have fruit smoothies. Yeah. Well, I might show everybody what I'm putting in the fruit smoothies. So I'm hoping this should have a recipe book with it. But also, Grandma Monkey's helping me. Yes. Because it's time to get a little bit fit, you know? Get some of these one of my five a day in my body. See if it'll wake me up some. And you get a recipe book. Blend Active. Personal Blender. Oh, that's all the instructions on how to use it. Ta -da! Right. Ow. So you get a lid. There's a lid so far. Oh, it's, pi it's pink as well. You've got... Right, so this is where you put all your fruit. And then... So you put your fruit in there, like so. There's your cutters. You sit that in. Twist it down. Don't drop it. Turn it over. Yeah. And then, and then, Mr. Producer's looking at me like I'm daft. Lower the lid. And lower the bottom. Because then what you do with that other one is you attach it. So you push that, twist it to lock it, make sure it's on properly, and you push it down, but I can't seem to get it on properly yet. There we go, that's better. Twist it to lock it, like so, and then you just blend it. And then that'll all the fruit up. Then what? Then you untwist it like so. You turn it back around that way. You take off the sharp implement. You put a lid on. And then you drink it. So there we go. Blend, baby, blend. But how cool is that? Yeah, and you can make milkshakes in it, you can make smoothies, you can do anything. And there's two bottles, so if you wanted to make two types, like if you wanted to make a milkshake, put that in the fridge. Strawberry milkshake, chocolate milkshake, if you have chocolate sauce. No, I'll let Amber see that now. 
or just put chocolate ice cream in there with ice cubes or something but yeah so i've got the orange juice i've got some ice cubes i've got the uh, fruits and now i can make my fruit smoothies to have in the morning instead of breakfast because then i'm hoping that this has got some recipes in the back i don't think it does well you could be in bed sleeping me get up video make one home yeah then come back to bed huh come back to bed and then poke you Got you. Why would you have a fruit smoothie in the morning? No. Bottles. Parcels. Oh, and then you can get up and do the parcels. Got you. I got it. I got it now. Yeah. I thought there was a recipe book in here. But I guess it's just... Oh, there is. It's here. It's here. Got it. So, protein shakes. It says here, protein-rich shake. So, 300 ml of skim milk, peanut butter... Right, banana. Ugh, won't be doing that one. Banana in it. Berry Blitz. A large handful of frozen or fresh berries. Vanilla protein powder. Skim milk. Six ice cubes. Now, we don't need protein. I don't need protein. So, I'm going to go on to the smoothies. So, super thick berry. So, chilled apple juice. Natural yogurt. Ripe banana. Frozen berries. And honey optional. Raspberry crush. I think I'm just going to chuck loads of fruit in it and see how it goes. Because I think it's going to be trial and error to see which one I like definitely on this one isn't it because i don't like bananas or i don't like bananas that you can taste but i like bananas and cake so i like banana cake um i had one fruit smoothie that grandma monkey did a while back when she did it with her bullet and she only put half a banana in and i couldn't taste the banana so i was fine the one she did at the weekend she did a full banana in it and you could taste the banana but i couldn't drink it she doesn't know that. I just rinsed it out quickly in the sink. But yeah. Oh, look, I've drunk it all. <laughs> but yeah. Or you can make a frappuccino. Did you know that the Breville Coffee Express bottle can be used on our Breville Blend Active Base to make a frappuccino? This is great news if you want to use up that leftover or forgotten cold coffee. All right. If you have a Breville Coffee Express, you can make a frappuccino. So yeah, I will be doing that. And it's small enough to just sit on my kitchen side without being in the way. That was another bonus to it. Right, I better put the sharp thing back in one of these bottles so it doesn't stab anybody. <laughs> Hang tight. £20. £20. Uh, the bullet one was £147. And this was £20. And it's a Breville one. It's Breville. It's a top brand name, Breville is. So, thank you so much, Bill, for letting this happen. Yes. And I will be making smoothies. Is that in my, is it? That looks like it's going to be the trickiest part. One side and the other side doesn't want to go in. There we go. It's in. You push it down. Okay. The difference with this one to the bullet is you push it down to blend it. This one, you press that button. That's the main difference to the bullet. Right, something else that's in my box. Apple cider vinegar. Now this helps to um, stop you from being hungry, basically. There's nutrients in here which makes your stomach feel full. Yes. So it supports good health and it will, helps eliminate bloating, superior cleanse and detox properties, advanced weight loss formulation and easy to swallow capsules. Supports, supports the metabolism. Because the whole point of me at the moment is I want to get healthy. And I don't feel like I can get... During this lockdown I haven't got healthy. I've done the opposite. So if I can start training my brain to get healthy, I take my magnesium and iron, I take my B12 now, I take my cod liver oil, and I take, yeah, those ones, and now I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to, oh, I've got a bottle of water there. Oh, no. So there is, how many? 120 capsules here. They were £10. I paid for these ones. Wasn't fair on Bill him paying for these ones. He gets to buy the fun things. Uh, 
Do this thing. Do this thing. Apple cider vinegar. But apple cider is proven to help with weight loss. Looks like a horse tranquilizer. It'd be good for you though as well. In one no, not for losing weight, but your salo panto, you undo the capsule, don't you? Whereas me, I'm gonna swallow it whole and let my gut dissolve it instead. And not nice. Not nice. 120, you yeah. get. One a day. I think. Two capsules taken daily, preferably with meal or as directed. So I need to take two. So should yeah, but if I take one at night, I forget. If I take both in the same day. I think they only tell you to take two. So then you use them up quicker. <laughs> Not taking three. I have had breakfast. I've had some cocoa pops. <laughs> well, half a bowl of cocoa pops. Take my two. Ooh. So yes, they help. They're supposed to help. So fingers crossed. They're going to be the worst ones to take in the morning. Because my other ones aren't too bad. Sorry, I don't know why I'm pulling this face. You can't taste anything. But I think because I smelt it, that's the problem. And I want the little smell to go in the house. Right. I don't know why I'm pulling this face. That's why I'm not pulling the face. Right, so there was just two things there in that box. I know there's two things in one video, but I'm sorry. Yeah. Longativity lab. Yes. So thank you for joining me in opening up my new blender active and my apple cider vinegar tablets. Will I be all right without a gallbladder for them? I don't have a gallbladder and then vinegar. Ultra potent formula. Okay. But we'll, we'll see what happens with them. <laughs> Wrong tree. Oop, that's attached. I'm just moving everything else out of the way because then you can go and get me another vessel afterwards. So, yeah, there we go. Two in one. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you all. I've already said all that in the beginning. Oh, he's going to go and get me another parcel now. Who knows what it could be. I love you all.